we wanted to share with you, I guess, some information around why we created the storybook. So, as an introduction, we, um, we after five years of trying, um, we decided to head down the donor egg uh, route and we decided to do anonymous donor eggs in Spain. Um, it was a it was a tough decision, but um, at the same time we were we were up for it. And uh, you know, at the end of this process, we now have a beautiful one year old child, which is great, Rosie. Although anonymous donor eggs worked for us at the time, I think with everything we know now, we probably would have done it differently. Um, but saying that, we love Rosie to bits, but uh, her not having access to half of that genetic history is something you really need to to think about. So uh, through that process, we chose to go through counselling um, and. As part of that counselling process, the, the, the counsellor was great and suggested that as Rosie wouldn't have uh, a connection to half of her genetic history, um, we, um, we decided to connect her to the story, which we thought was great advice, so we created this storybook to really do that. Um, <clears throat> so where, we, um, where we're at now is we do show this to Rosie and we plan on showing this to Rosie, but a good benefit um, of this process also was that uh, our friends and family who have seen this story really have connected to, to our story and the reason for us doing this as well. So here we go. This is your dad. He's <coughs> off the plane. He's arriving in Alicante. Yeah. <laughs> We're down on the beach. Fireworks yes. tonight. Hello. Your dad. <laughs> um, yeah, fireworks. Everyone's around. It's massive, pretty big uh, atmosphere here. Uh, pretty warm too. And there's the beach. We're hoping for some fireworks soon, so we'll uh, check in with you soon. I love you. <laughs> I love you already. 